guys, good morning. It is Monday, uh, November 13th, right? Yeah. Yes. And we're on our way to our first doctor's appointment with Mr. Cash. Look at him in there, he's so cute. He's so cute. It's been a good first couple days. So we're just going to our one week apart apartment appointment. And then I think we're gonna treat ourselves to Starbucks. But I'm not getting coffee, I'm gonna get chai tea because coffee not good for my baby. Make him gassy. Daddy's gonna go to the gym later. Maybe I'll send grandma to mail those boxes. Okay. I'm wearing my shirt. It's the first time I'm able to wear it. It says, this mom runs on caffeine, Target, and Amazon Prime. You can finally wear the mom shirt. So anyway, that's what we're up to today. We did a good job at the doctor today, didn't we, Cash? So, Mr. has only lost one ounce, um, which is good because she said most babies lose, what, 10% or something? 10%, so she said he's really doing well. So she said he's doing really good, and we go back next week for his circumcision. <laughs> I don't want to go. You have to go with him. No. <laughs> That's true. We'll send Grandma Pam. <laughs> Grandma will go with him. We'll send Grandma Pam. Um, and then his two weeks, so they'll do it at the same appointment. But now, mommy and daddy are getting in and out burger because we haven't had it in a while and we're out and about, so we figured we would go. Uh huh, we treat ourselves for having such a cute baby. Yeah, it's a treat. So, hi, huh, baby. We gave him this Wubba Nub because the other pacifier that we had him with had the long string, and we just learned that he loves this, he mm -hmm. likes to hold on to it, so. So he's happy. Hello. No. Of course, I think I was talking to them. So it is Wednesday, Tuesday. It's Tuesday. And I just shredded all kinds of stuff. We had like three or four boxes full of like old mail, old bills, old junk that needed to be gone through and shredded. And I put it all out here and I got it organized into files and shredded what we didn't need and threw away all the trash. And so now I feel much better. Mr. Cash is over here in the window soaking up some rays and daddy's over here making me eat breakfast yeah you need to eat um, so now that i'm done with that you can check it off my list there's still a few things that i need to get done um but i can't really do them here i need to get my teaching certificate renewed and i need to get my federal loan paperwork signed off on but i think i'm gonna wait until the first of december to do that because i need to go to phoenix so, we will have to wait and take Mr. Cash with me. Little man kept us awake until 4.30 last night. But once we hit 4.30, we slept <laughs> until 10. He probably fell asleep, and we probably fell asleep when he was still awake. Yeah. <laughs> so, in our efforts to keep Cash awake um, before bedtime, we have him sit with Grandma and... Well, he's doing something pretty spectacular, so let's watch. What is this Wednesday, ugh. It is Wednesday. November, I don't even know what day it is. You think it's the 15th? Yes, it's November 15th. 
Cash is a week old today. I should have been able to do eight plus seven, but I'm just not there. So um, little mister is in the Mamaroo swing right now because mommy is by herself and mommy had to go potty. And mommy has to do some other things. So he's just in here. He looks happy without his pee pee. Um, by the way, we call the pacifier a pippy in our house. Um, it's just what we've called it. That's what I called it. Uh, so that's what we're calling it. Um, and he's in here. Are you cold, Munchkin? Should I turn the heat up? Um, he's wrapped up in a blankie. He's happy as a clam. Just keep this away from your face. So, anyway, I'm going to do some things that I need to get done, like some phone calls and stuff like that. And I'm going to then, later on today when Grandpa gets off work, he's going to take us to the hospital because Cash has to have a second round of hearing testing done. So we're going to do that this afternoon. Um, I would just go, but I'm not allowed to drive for another week uh, because of the C-section. So I'm just going to wait until Grandpa gets home and then he will take us. So cute. So okay, so that's what I'm doing today. Nothing super exciting, but this is a, a life of a one week mom. I've been a mom for a week, Cash. Been your mom for a week. What's funny is that he looks like he's shivering, like he looks like he's shaking a little bit, but it's actually the swing. Like we just figured out that when the swing goes down, it like shakes a tiny bit, like it vibrates almost. So that freaked me out at the beginning. I was like, oh my gosh, he's freezing. But no, he's warm. Like his hands are warmer than mine. So, and daddy went. So Scott actually went phoenix today he um just recently got a new um half sleeve i guess um arm tattoo and um the the tattoo artist is so busy that he had to have uh scott come in today uh to finish the top part of his shoulder section and so scott actually went to the valley today to go get that finished so he should be home probably this evening and um so it's totally fine like i like told him you know go just for the day and you know so it's kind of giving me practice for when he goes back to work um after next week which i really don't look forward to but um it is what it is and so it's giving me practice you know, having cash by myself for now. Um, but as I've said before, in May, um, our situation will be changing. We'll be in the same city all the time, every day. So we're really excited about that. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna putz around, clean the bedroom. The bedroom isn't dirty, but I just wanna organize. I need to put these shirts like I said, under the house. And I won't do that until someone else is here because I'm not going to take him under the house. But, uh, yep. That's what I'm going to do. All right, guys. We have a change of scenery. We put cash in this little thing. And um, it vibrates. It doesn't rock or anything. But it does have a mobile on the top. And I just, I didn't feel comfortable with him being in the living room with me working in here. So, you got to keep your hands away from your eyes. His nails are trimmed, but he, like, grabs. 
I'm going to have to put mittens on you. See how it does that? You're scratching yourself. I'm going to go get some gloves. But um, I wanted to share with you guys this playlist that I put on for him. It's called Rockabye Baby, and it's on Spotify. And it basically takes all these, like, super fun rock songs or, like, hip-hop songs and puts them to lullaby. So here I'll give you, like, 20 seconds. This one's saying my name. Um, but it's really cute, and... Um, I just, like, I put this on in my classroom, and I thought it was perfect for him because it's just, like, all those songs that I know, but it's in a lullaby, so I enjoy listening to them, too, while I'm working around the house, so. Okay, we're going to go get you some gloves, and then Mama's going to work. Hey, guys. So, we got a lot done. I got my closet organized. I got all my maternity clothes taken out and put into these bags, and then I had some, like, summer clothes kind of in there still. Got those out. Um, and then all my teaching t-shirts. I just, I'm putting them under the house for until February just to make space for the winter stuff because it is cold up here in northern Arizona. So I did make room for that. And, um, little man is getting ready to wake up so I'm eating a turkey sandwich. And then I have these bags I need to organize and like find a place for. It's so hard when you're living in one bedroom. But... I am very thankful for my parents for letting us stay here and very thankful that we have a place to live until our house is done being built. It's just a little crammed in here, that's all, especially with a baby. So I have this little corner empty. I'll probably put his bassinet back over there so that whenever I'm in here, he can just be in here with me. Um, yesterday, I organized all of our files. And so I'm just trying to like find a place for everything and make it the most like comfortable environment we can in here. And what do you think, Alice? I noticed that somebody had been peeing here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, somebody's been peeing there. I don't think it's her because she doesn't lift her leg to pee. Huh. I think it's uh, somebody else. Jack. So yeah, I'm going to organize these. These are maternity clothes that belong to a friend of mine. These are like summer and like random stuff that I don't want. I don't need now like Scott's um, Halloween costume. Um, so I'm going to put all this under the house and then look through what's under there and pull out like my old jeans. I don't know. I might just go buy like new jeans and call it a day just because I got rid of a lot when we moved. So I don't really know what I have down there. So I'm going to wait until grandpa comes home and when he's asleep again, and then I will go downstairs and see what's going on. But for now, we're going to watch Boy Meets World and just chill because he's getting ready to wake up. So we're going to watch Boy Meets World. This is like our favorite show right now. I don't know why. <laughs> 